Right now at 5, family and friends are grieving a 60-year-old man killed in a Northern Liberties carjacking. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris O'Connell. And I'm Dawn Timoney. Police say the man's stolen SUV was recovered in Camden. Investigators say he was waiting for his wife when this happened. Our Jennifer Lee is live outside police headquarters. And Jennifer, this story is so heartbreaking. And you just heard from the man's wife? Yes, that's right. Uh, his wife is heartbroken. She was in tears telling me about her husband. His name is Peter Chan, and she says that he only purchased that car a few months ago that was at the center of this deadly carjacking. Philadelphia police say this is the 2023 Toyota SUV at the center of the deadly carjacking in Northern Liberties Thursday night. The victim's wife is receiving support from her Chinatown neighbors. She was not ready to show her face, but wanted to share her account with community leader Dan Tao translating the interview. They live in Philadelphia for about 10 years, and uh, her husband is very hardworking and uh, very honest, and uh, many people in the community know, know about them. Yeah. She says her husband, Peter Chan, was helping her practice driving when they stopped in the area of 3rd and Cambridge Streets. She stepped away for a few minutes, and by the time she returned, their car was gone, and her husband was on the ground severely injured. When she returned, she did not see the vehicle where her husband dropped her off. Basically, her husband already lying on the ground. And uh, so they have napkins, try to, like, uh, they try to help him. Police say two masked men pulled up in a motorcycle or dirt bike and assaulted the 60-year-old before taking off in the Toyota Highlander. Early this morning, we saw police recovering the stolen vehicle in Camden. The violent carjacking happened near Boricua Restaurant. The owner says his condolences are with the family. It's heartbreaking, and we have to now be careful of when we leave the restaurant. And that's just to show you, it doesn't matter where you live, whether it's North Philly or here in Northern Liberties, when unfortunate situations like this happen, it's gonna happen. Peter's wife and family hope the police will make arrests very soon. She hope the police will do, will do the job and capture the criminal as quick mm -hmm. as possible. Peter's wife was also raising concern about the police response. She believes there was a delay in getting her husband the critical care that he needed. And looking at police data, so far this year, there have been more than 600 carjackings. Outside police headquarters, Jennifer Lee. Don, back to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you. Just so tragic. Mm -hmm.